Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. Stay tuned to find out why Chicago's top realtors are choosing Dan Frio. Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. I, of course, am Dan Frio. If you'd like to speak with me personally, that's the biggest thing. If you want to talk to me personally, give me a call, 630-338-1160. The other day I was, I was sitting in my office and somebody called me. And they said, Dan, what's the difference between you and that other guy? And I I sat back for a second and I said, well, when you call the other guy, who are you calling? Who are you talking to? Who's calling you back? Who are you dealing with? Who are you dealing with or will you be dealing with tomorrow? Don't know. Well, with me, it's me. So that's the biggest thing that I, I I can stress. If you want to deal with me personally, you want to deal with somebody who you've heard on radio for years and years and years, call me. I have all the programs that everybody else has. I have the most competitive interest rates in the business. And I have, you know, base, and you get to talk with me. I'll do a free consultation with you. We can do it in, we can do it over the phone. We can Skype it. If you want to do it that way, you're more than welcome to come to my office. If need be, I'll even come to your home. That's kind of tough because, you know, there's thousands of listeners. I can't be everywhere, you know, at all times. So, but that's the biggest difference. You get me, you know what you're getting. I'm here. I've been doing this for 30 years. So that's that. So today's show, what I want to do is I want to talk about the biggest thing right now is interest rates and they're coming down again. What should you do? Does it make sense to refinance your mortgage? Might, might not. Does it make sense to pay off credit cards, car loans, student loans? Might, might not. Do you need some repairs? You, you, you want to fix the house. You need new appliances and you need to, to fix up the roof. There's some leaks there. Do some painting, things like that. But you don't have the cash. Where do you get it? What's the most efficient way to do that? One of the biggest things that we're doing right now is we're getting people into mortgages that are eliminating, removing PMI. So, for example, if you took out an FHA loan within the last five, six, seven years, you have PMI, Most in most cases, you have PMI on that loan, believe it or not, I don't know if your mortgage person told you, you have PMI on that mortgage forever. The only way, I yep, I said forever. The only way to get rid of it is to refinance. You can't call the lender and say, you know what? Now I have twenty uh, percent equity in my house. I want to drop my PMI. Nope. The only way you can do it is refinancing. So what we're doing a lot of, a lot of, is we're refinancing people's FHA loans into standard conventional loans. And removing their PMI. In most cases, they're saving about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. What we're also doing in, in some cases, when I ask you, and if you've if you've called me in the past, one of the first things I I ask when you say I'm looking to refinance, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the question, why? What are you looking to do? Are you looking to lower your payment? Is your payment comfortable? That's one of the things I'll always say. They're like, I want a lower rate. Okay, cool. Well, why do you want a lower rate? Well, you know, do you want to lower your payment? Your payment's comfortable with you. How about if we look at going or shortening your term? I'm actually refinancing a friend of mine right now. They bought their house two years ago. Their rate was 4.5%. I'm doing their loan right now on a 25-year term. Their payment is going down $121 a month. And if you paid attention, they took out a 30-year term two years ago. They have 28 years remaining. I'm putting them on a 25-year term. So they're not only saving $121 a month, they're saving two years on that mortgage, paying it off two years early. Now, 
I said to him, well, if you want to continue paying what you're paying now, you would pay off that house in 18 years. Okay. So think about it. That's a huge savings. Huge. It was, I think it was shy of $200,000 in savings, but that's what they saved. So if you're looking to, if you want to take advantage of today's rates, I would highly suggest you do this. You know, let's maybe possibly look at paying off those high high debt credit cards. You know, even if you currently have a 0% interest rate on your credit card, it's not on there forever. You normally have about one year or 12 months of 0% interest. Most cases, people aren't going to pay that off. So after that, they might try to find another 0% and keep flipping that around. You could do that. that. That's fine. If not, if you miss it, you're probably going to be in a rate of 18 to 28%. So that's that. Car loans. You know, if you have a high rate credit uh, car loan, if it's zero, just keep it. If it's at, you know, 10, 15, 18%, look at doing something about it. Home equity loans. Those are mostly adjustable rates. So why not lock in now at some of the historically low interest rates, fixed rates, and not have to worry ever about it. Again, and also on your home equity loans, is it still tax deductible? Probably not. If you check the new tax laws, in most cases, your home equity loans are not still tax deductible. So here's what I want you to do. Either call me and we'll do a free consultation and we'll go through all these scenarios on what you're looking to do. You want to shorten your term. You want to remove PMI. You want to build consolidate. You want to do, you know, renovations. You want to do something. Okay. To take advantage of today's low rates. I also have a phenomenal tool for you. If you go to my website, it is 1160 1160 mortgage.com. The probably the best feature that I like of this website is the mortgage calculator or mortgage calculators. Okay. So go to the website, go over to the right a little bit. There's going to say some tools, scroll down and hit mortgage calculator. There's probably 15 different mortgage calculators on there. So if you're looking to see what your payments is, you know, to verify it or whatever, you can plug in the numbers. There's a calculator to say, okay, is it best if I maybe refinance and pay points? Is it best if I just refinance? You can put in your current uh, mortgage information. And then what will happen is you'll click the button and it'll give you options. It'll say on a 30, 25, 20, and 15 year term, here's what you'd be looking at. And then you scroll down or you hit calculate, you scroll down and then it starts telling you this one would do this. This one would, your payment would go down 180 bucks. This one, your payment will stay the same, but you're going to pay off that house in eight years early. And this is how much you're going to save. This is how much equity you're going to build by going into this program. There's a, there's a slew of different tools that's there to help you. Also, there is a, you can take that data and then you can click it and do a debt consolidation program. Okay. This is what I love. You can go in and say, okay, here's my mortgage. So, and then here is my student loans, the three of them that I have. Here's my car payment. And here's the four credit cards that I have. With all of that, what, what would be the best scenario for me? The goal here isn't to, well, it might be, but the goal here isn't to take all that debt, squish it, pay it on a 30-year term, and pay a ton of interest on that. That's not our goal, and it shouldn't be your goal. What our goal is to say, you know what, In in a lot of cases that I've had recently, the average savings when I do a consolidation loan is approximately, I can probably say, 1200 bucks, and that's not exaggerating. So let's say, for example... And I always tell people did this. How about if we take that twelve hundred bucks you're saving, and you 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 have credit card debt, and you have this other debt, mainly because your earnings weren't enough to satisfy the debt load that you have. Okay, so that's the first piece of that equation. So now we squish this down and we consolidate everything, and you save twelve hundred bucks a month. Now, is that enough to now help you not have to rely on credit cards? I hope so. Okay. So let's do that. And then 
let's let's hang on on to that for about a month or two. Let's let the dust settle. Now revisit your budget. And this is something you'll have to do on your own after the fact, but then revisit your budget. So you're you're now saying, you know what? I have an extra two three hundred bucks a month now. You know, I, I build up a little reserve for myself because you're in most cases when you refinance, you're going to miss one or two months payments, mortgage payments. Plus, you're going to miss all those uh, the accounts we we consolidated. So you might save twenty five three hundred three thousand bucks a month for two months. So that's six thousand bucks. Now you have a reserve. So then the dust settles. Now you're like, Dan, I have an extra 200, 250 bucks a month that I can start applying to the loan. Go back to my mortgage calculator at 1160mortgage.com and plug in the terms of your loan. And now say, you know what? If I put in an extra, plug in an extra 250 bucks a month toward my principal each month, how quick would I pay off that mortgage? And it's going to be way different than the 30 year term that you took. You might cut off five, 10, 11, 12 years. It depends on your your mortgage amount. That's our goal. So please take advantage of today's low rates. They're they're back at historic lows. You might want to look at, again, consolidate some high interest debt, uh, debt that you have. Reduce your term. Shorter term mortgages have lower rates. Remove PMI. If you have an FHA loan that you took out five, six, seven years ago, let's remove that PMI. And then if you need to do some repairs around the house, it's a good way to do that. Pull out the monies. Many cases, we can probably pull out money. If you've been there for five, six, seven, eight years, we can pull out money, keep your payment the same, and give you cash in hand to do what you need to do. So that's that's what I like to do. So if I could be of help to you, please give me a call. And again, you'll talk to me personally. I'm Dan Frio, The Mortgage Update. Call me at 630-338-1160. God bless. We'll be back in two minutes. Welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. I, of course, am Dan Frio. And I'm going to highlight again what I said at the beginning of the show. Why am I, or what makes me different than the other guy out there? Well, when you call in, probably 99% of the time you're going to get me. When you go online and do the search engines, who are you getting? When you call that you know, 800 number and you call in and you know the celebrity or you know the person on there. Who are you getting? Are you getting that person? Probably not. I would highly say, no, you're not. So then you start the mortgage process. Can you get a hold of that person again? Probably not. So if you want to deal with a, a, a mortgage advisor who's done this, I've done it for 30 years. You will have my cell phone number. You'll have my texting information. You'll have my email address. You will get me personally. First of all, that's first. Second, I have all the programs everybody else has. There's a lot out there that you probably don't even know of that I can put you into or suggest to you. Okay, that's it. Technology, my technology at this point is probably spot on one of the best out in the market. Okay. And then the rates, I have some of the most competitive rates in the whole country. So with all of that, please give me a call. Um, The best way to get me is 630-338-1160 or find me on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Sorry about that big infomercial. So at the beginning of the show, we talked about why you might want to look at refinancing. Okay. We went through that. The second part of the show, this is probably one of the biggest hits I get on all my podcasts, all my YouTubes, all my Spotify, everything that I post is the credit section of the shows. And I try to do at least one show or a good section of uh, in regards to credit every week to kind of help you because there is so much bad information out there on the web. Okay, so what are we going to use? So basically what I want you to do is you need to get a credit scoring system. And most people say, well, I have Discover or I have Credit Karma or I have this or I have that. Okay, great. But how about if there's one out there that's just as good, if not better, and I'm going to say better, and it's free. So what what would distract you of doing that if it's there and there's no strings attached? It's 100% free. Why would you not do it? Because you're going to get credit uh, monitoring. You're going to get a credit score. 
You're going to get advice. The coolest feature I like is it, it looks over your credit profile. A lot of people have their credit scores are not where they want them to be for a reason. This system will tell you that reason. Most of the time, it's either bad credit and or lack of. The system will give you, actually review your credit profile and match you up with a credit card saying, this one is for you. This is your best match. You don't have to do it, but if you're looking to build off of your credit, good thing to do. Okay, so go to creditscoresandmore.com, scroll down, there's four steps. Step one is getting a free system. That is, it's free. There's, there is, don't even buy anything. It, you'll go in there and it'll say, you can get this subscription or you can do that or this or that. Don't do any of it. I don't want you to spend a nickel, not a nickel. We just want to monitor your credit. Go through it in, in, in detail. Make sure the information on there is accurate. Okay. Make sure it's accurate. All right. So that is step one. Step two are for those that are really, really into I want to know my credit scores. I want to know what my scores are. I I use Discover. Well, Discover gives you a score, but really doesn't give you your credit. Credit Karma gives you a score, but did you know it's a Vantage score? It's not actually a score that people use when you're applying for a loan, insurance, a credit card, anything of that. So it's, it's not. What is used is called your FICO. So in step two, if you go through the system, it'll give you a discounted rate. You can order your credit report and it'll give you, you probably have close to 30 different credit scores. It can be overwhelming, but there's on this site, there's tutorials. There's everything that you need to know to understand the process. You're going to scroll down and see every credit score you have. Okay. Now, step three, this is for those that need help. If you need help, it's like, I don't know what to do. You know, I have some collections. Should I pay them? I have some charge-offs. Should I pay them? Um, I have some late pays. I always hear that people can remove those. Can they be done? You know, a lot of that stuff is fluff. You know, if you didn't pay on those credit cards, probably not going to go away. But step three is a credit counseling system. Go in there, put in your information. You're going to get a call back probably within an hour. They'll go over your whole credit profile with you and they'll set you up with a plan. The cool thing about this is they have a 90 day money back guarantee. How, who, who else out there has a 90 day money back guarantee? So use the system 90 days. You're going to see a difference. You will see a difference. So that's step three. Step four. I changed recently. The reason being is. The hacking is getting crazy. So this system will lock your credit. You can't pull it. Nobody can pull it. Okay. It does create a little bit of a hassle when you do go to try to get a loan or a car loan or anything, but you most likely know that you're going to do that. You can call in and have it unlocked for a time period. So you want to apply for a car. You want to apply for a mortgage. You want to apply for something. In advance, go into the system, tell it you, you want to unlock it for you know today, and then go ahead and apply. So now you're safe. Okay, that's, that's that system. All right, so right now what I want to do is I want to go over some questions that I get on YouTube. These are, these are questions that people post every day, and I, I, I'll go through and let you know kind of the answers to it. The, if you would, check out my YouTube channel. It's the mortgage update with Dan Frio. And the reason why I, I created that system was I wanted to give you factual information because of all of the bad stuff out there. Okay. So let me, I'm going to log into my YouTube channel right now. Let me go find you a, a question. And let's see what do we got here. So the first one I have is, okay, I have a credit limit of $300. i am only going to spend $15. When should I pay it? Well, great question. And somebody actually asked me if I would do a video on when to make a payment on your credit card. Okay, so don't wait for you to, to, to receive the statement. 
and then wait to the last day that it's due or two days or three days prior to that and then send in your payment real quick. Here's why. The credit agencies, or you, um, let's take that back. Your, let's say it's your Discover card. What happens is your Discover card, they, they, you, you ran up your balance. Uh, uh, let, me, let me tweak the whole scenario. You say, you know, I use my Discover card to pay everything that I have because I love the points. And every month you use 2000 of the 2000 limit you have. Nothing wrong with that. And you pay it off every month. Perfect. So, however, when you try to apply for a loan, your credit scores are getting whacked because every time it shows up, it shows you have a $2,000 high credit limit and you owe $2,000. And you're like, but Dan, I pay it off every time, every month I pay it to zero. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not disputing that. However, you're, you're getting the statement, you're waiting the week you know, for it to be due, and then you send in the payment. During that time, what happened is Discover pushed your data to the credit agencies to show, you know, and it's before you made your payment. So when they push the data out, probably the you know couple days after they send you your statement, it's showing that you owe two thousand on a two thousand dollar high credit limit, and it's saying you're maxed out, and you you just drop thirty forty points. So if you can, if you can, you know your Discover bill comes in every month on the tenth. Go online on about the 8th, if you can, and pay it. Don't wait another week. It might be payroll. I'm not saying that this is easy to do, but if you budget yourself over time, you can finagle this around. Pay it before the statement comes out. Now what happens is, you, you paid it off every month like you're doing anyways, but you just made it maybe a week before. Now when that data gets pushed out... It's actually showing a zero balance on a $2,000 high credit limit. You just picked up 20, 30, 40, 50 points. Easy, easy technique there. So actually somebody asked me to do a video about this. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'll post this, this radio show to kind of explain that to you. So that's kind of you know the, the credit section for this week. Um, I, I hope you learned something today. You know, <clears throat> interest rates are still at historic lows. Take advantage of it. Who do you call? Call me. You've, you've heard me for years and years and years. You know what I'm all about. You know what you're getting. You're going to get me personally. You're going to have me for your follow through. You're going to have me accountable for your situation. Okay. I have all the programs out there that you need. I have the most competitive rates in the market. Please give me a shot. Um, the second section is, you know, we went through a lot of credit things. If you have credit or need some credit help, visit the credit um, credit scores and more.com. I put it together. I, I created that website. I didn't create it to get rich. I created it. So you, you'd be educated. So I hope you like the show again. My name is Dan free of the mortgage update. If you'd like to reach me personally, give me a call at 630-338-1160. Find me on the web at 1160 mortgage.com. But one of the biggest things you could probably do is just Google. The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. You'll find me, and I hope you like what you see. God bless. Thank you for listening tonight. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM 1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 